This is April Shelby's, using my computer to generate this message. Last year, I was exposed intentionally to COVID by Jason Bush, my supervisor at Fresno State. They blocked me from getting any help. I'm a mundane, and they decided to put me down for sport. Mundanes do not know about the science of the mind and how to use hypnosis against people, and are treated as subhuman. They even bring us up on stage to laugh at us, because they can hypnotize us in public. They do worse in private. I lost everything. Nothing has been done to help me. I have not received any of the COVID aid available to anyone else. I didn't even get my sick leave that I worked for and accrued. I have not been helped. They blocked me from getting any retirement funds. They cut off my phone and my internet. I have been attacked, not helped. I even had neighbors who demanded that I mow by law, after hearing that I had COVID and lost my job and had no money. When they cut my power and I realized with my labored breathing I wouldn't last long, I went over to a different neighbor and asked to use the phone so I could call my neighbor next door, who wasn't home. She had to make my Mormon father get the power turned on. I asked my neighbor to help me get whatever help she could find. She is a counselor in private practice and has connections, and let me use her internet connection. So far I have heard nothing. I am not safe. I have not received my retirement. I am still classified a mundane, and I have been silenced because I found out about the secret world of hypnosis and psychic attack. They were killed to keep this quiet. They want me dead, so they can make up a story about what happened and blame me, saying I did not tell anyone how serious it was or seek help. I did seek help. I even contacted lawyers asking for help, stating that this was calculated murder. I am a mundane. I don't count. People who honor God are a minority. I am in that minority. The Book of Enoch says, In the days of our affliction we toiled laboriously, and saw every affliction, and met many evils. We were spent and became few and our spirit small we were destroyed and there was no one who helped us with words or with deeds. We were powerless and found nothing. We were tortured and destroyed and did not expect to see life from one day to the next. We hoped to become the head but became the tail. We toiled and labored, but were not masters of the fruits of our toil. We became food for the sinners, and the lawless made the yoke heavy upon us. Those who hated us, those who goaded us, were masters of us, and to those who hated us we bowed our necks but they did not have mercy on us. We sought to escape from them so that we might flee and be at rest, but we found no place where we might flee and be safe from them. We complained about them to the rulers, in our distress, and cried out against those who devoured us, but they took no notice of our cries, and did not wish to listen to our voice and they helped those who plundered us and devoured us, and those who made us few and they concealed their wrongdoing, and did not remove from us the yoke of those who devoured us, and scattered us, and killed us, and they concealed our slaughter and did not remember that they had raised their hands against us, I swear to you, you righteous, that in heaven the angels remember you for good in front of the glory of the Great One, and that your names are written down in front of the glory of the Great One be hopeful, for you were formerly put to shame through evils and afflictions, but now you will shine like the lights of heaven, and will be seen and the gate of heaven will be opened to you and persevere in your cry for judgment and it will appear to you, for justice will be exacted from the rulers for all your distress, and from all those who helped those who plundered you be hopeful, and do not abandon your hope, for you will have great joy like the angels of heaven. This is the end of the thousand years tribulation, psychic predators are using hypnosis and the science of the mind to control and manipulate you, the Bible calls them demons, this is April Shelby's, and I am not happy, and will not be happy, until every demon is removed from the earth, Lucifer and his minions must be cast into the lake of hellfire and brimstone that ascends forever and ever, I pray daily for the Lord to destroy the destroyers.